What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, I have some great news for those of you who have legacy devices like the iPhone 4 and so on and want to downgrade them untethered to older iOS versions. And also for those of you who have more modern devices and are running on cover and want to use Cilio. So we're going to talk about this and we have two main topics to discuss. So let's get straight into them. I'm going to start with Cilio and newer devices. So there's the Cilio thing in here, which is pretty much a Cilio alternative I made a review of it, you probably know it, it looks fantastic, it has a great design and it works very very fast. Now it's supposed to replace Cydia and to be a modern take on what Cydia does and it works, don't get me wrong, this is one of the actual successful attempts to create a Cydia alternative that works on the jailbreak. So yeah, very good program indeed, but for the moment it's only available for the Electra jailbreak since it's still in development, it's still in early days and many people who are running the uncovered jailbreak would want to use it. Now there is a semi-possibility and has been announced here on uh, Reddit jailbreak and it's called pretty much the Cilio compatibility layer. Now it's been posted by developer same G is a ninja and it's called Cilio or Cilio or whatever and it says a Cilio compatibility layer for uncover. Now many many people ask me well should I use that? Should I install that and you know pretty much be done with it and be able to use both uncover and Cilio because many people want the best of both worlds with this jailbreak. I mean they want Cilio because it's stylish and it's new. I mean just look at it in here. It's definitely very dope looking but at the same time they don't want to downgrade to the Electra so they would pretty much like to combine the two. Now easier said than done because as I said for the moment it's only available for the Electra and since Cilio is closed source for the moment while it's being developed there is no easy way to port it to work on the uncover. Now this compatibility layer in here seems to be kept up to date and seems to be doing the job relatively fine on getting the uncover to work with Cilio and so on by separating the uh, packages for Cilio and for CDM and then of course by integrating the fix for the uh, Big Boss repo, you know the ads on the Big Boss repo which was a problem but then again this is not a stable thing. So if you want to use it you can indeed try it, you can try Cilio or Cilio in here but I wouldn't recommend it, I would definitely recommend you to wait for the actual release of Cilio, you know the official release, you know whenever that would be on the uncover because this patches and you know compatibility layers and so on may be nice if you really want to try that on the uncover but they're prone to failing and they do fail quite a lot from an update to another which pretty much breaks various stuff and it requires fixing and updating and so on. So I wouldn't bother, I wouldn't really mess with it for the moment, it's a nice attempt from Sam G is a ninja but I would definitely keep away from it for the moment if you are a beginner and you want to just keep your jailbreak safe. There will be a point where Cilio will probably be open source because that's their goal in the end when they finish it to open source it and at that point if the uh, Cilio team doesn't update the uh, tool to work with the uncover other people will do but for the moment while it's closed source we rely on pretty much hooking into it and patching it in memory and stuff like that which yeah it's a patch it's not an official thing so do not expect it to work properly all the time. Now moving on I would like to discuss a little bit about this from Dora to iOS. It's called Somyoshino or Someyoshino or whatever and it's pretty much a downgrade tool for the uh, legacy devices like the iPhone 4 which pretty much takes advantage of the uh, Deribus Antiquist which is an exploit for the iBoot by Xero. Now the exploit has been released last year but it's very very useful and as you can see this tool in here is actually one of the proofs that this exploit can do quite a lot. It says in here quote it is a downgrade and untethered jailbreak tool to iOS 4.3.5, 5.1.1, iOS 6 and iOS 7 that exploited the boot chain of iOS 7.1.2 using Xero's Deribus Antiquist with, which is, as I said, an iBoot exploit. The operation was confirmed on iOS and macOS and it says in here support for untethered downgrade to iOS between 5.1.1 to 7.1.1 without any SHSH blobs saved. So this is actually very cool. If you have, for example, an iPhone 4 that is, you know, pretty old at this point and I even have one in here, it runs 7.1.2. That is the last it can run. But 7.1.2 is a pretty new operating system to run on the iPhone 4 
and you know it may feel faster it may run better on an older iOS version like 5.1.x or iOS 6 you would be very surprised to see how fast and smooth can the iOS 6 run compared to iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 because it's of course a problem with the hardware itself which is quite old and by the time iOS 7.1.2 was released iPhone 5s was being sold so yeah definitely a huge jump in there and this would allow you to perform an actual untethered downgrade to any of the versions mentioned in here which would allow you to get you know better functionality of your phone if you have an older phone you want to make it you know faster and this is untethered which means that you do not have to plug into the computer every time you power it on and you don't have to have saved sh sh2 blobs for that either yes there were downgrades for the iphone 4 and other legacy devices available but they were tethered which means that you had to plug your phone to the computer and run a program every time you rebooted your phone otherwise it wouldn't boot it wouldn't power on so yeah this doesn't sound Suffer from that thing and that is thanks to the uh, DRevis Antiquist exploit in here. So yeah, definitely check it out, I'm going to link it in the description down below. I found it very cool and I decided to make a video about it. There are instructions available on the page on how to use it but you will need a macOS machine as far as I know. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow and until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out!